Is there a different list that we would be on? Who are you? Do you have wristbands? No. At this point, we can't admit anyone who has picked up their wristbands. I'm really sorry. Why? Shut the fuck up! Nah. I didn't get this nigga in here. Alright, y'all move out the fuck out of the way. Yo, we're back up. We're, 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 we're back up, yo. We just right, not we're, happening. I know. It's not fucking happening. Hey, we're, we're not trying. Stop we're, pushing. We are trying to back up. Stop bro. pushing. Alright, you Everybody's gonna take four steps you back, too, and then we're gonna figure out who's walking in. I gotta get in. Come here. Come here. Take four steps back. He's not gonna get all these people. Alright, so Alright, so here's the lowdown. My name is Joseph. In this movie, we have Keegan and Ethan. We're all trying to experience South by Southwest the best way we can here in Austin. But unfortunately, just like most people that come here at this time, we don't have any passes, any wristbands, any badges, or any way to get into any of our favorite shows. So this movie's all about us sneaking into them. We hope you like it. All right, so it's the Pandora Den, a really hard place to get into because g Easy's playing tonight, but we're going to get in. However, the line's really long, and there's people lined up around the block just to watch it from the outside. We got the night at press, and then we got an idea for Keegan to hop the fence. So we put a GoPro on his head, sent him off, and see what would happen. <laughs> He got in, and I kind of couldn't believe it. We went around to the press side to see if we can get in and play it off like he was already in there and he was a part of our crew, but that didn't work either. Security was giving us trouble, pushing us aside, and, and to be honest, security was giving almost everybody their trouble. It was just this one guy who, like, had problems with everybody and I don't know I mean like he just yeah he literally was just even drunk people he was just yelling at there's Keegan as soon as I saw him he made go with the security guard acted like we knew each other which we did look how stupid he looks with that big gold ball on his head anyway I played it off like like I was supposed to be in there with him I knew my opportunity was there so I took it and I walked straight in, balls slanging. I, I, my voice is done, bro, but, right, right, right. but we need to go harder, bro. Damn, bro. Stay still. Hey, it's time Stay still. Hey, let's step it up, Stay bro. still. What's on your head? Tell the people what's on your head, bro. Hey, racial Wait, stay still. What's on your head, bro? Ray Sharma's bodyguard's fist. Yeah, who are we getting tomorrow, bro? Hey, you know who we're getting tomorrow. Who? Be ready. Don't play yourself. Major key alert. DJ Khaled. Major key alert. I, my problem is, bro, is I feel like we've been going hard, and I feel like we've been doing good, but we're kicking it up a notch small. And then the, the day after that, brother, the day after that, we're going even higher. And then the day after that, it's, it's going to be at a peak, bro. Hey, peak. Hey, if, remember this, bro. Camera, remember this. Because tomorrow, we're going to be on stage, and we're going to have DJ Khaled's blessings in the documentary. Wake up. We got to go. DJ Khaled's down the street. It's 120. Uh, we just checked DJ Khaled's snap story. He's still at the Westin Hotel. Literally three blocks away from my apartment, over there. Anyway, that's not the complete point. The point is, is we need him in this to give us our blessings. Hey, we gotta find Khaled, bro. We're gonna find him, dude. Okay, well. I don't know if you noticed that, is audio on? I don't know if you noticed that, but the only reason we got to the 24th is because she had a guest room key, scanned us. So, and there was like, three people down there that look like they're part of his entourage, but I'm not sure if they were. 
So we'll find out. I think. I think. The future. Can I tell you something? Really? Yeah. We're out here filming a documentary. Two 19 year olds from Austin, Texas. And uh, you inspired me, man. Yeah, thank Let me you. Tell you. You inspire me, Cal. Document this. You, ins you inspire me. Document this. YouTube can't wait for the movie we're making. Document this. Don't play yourself. Life Biggest in the great. game. Biggest in the game. God is good. Don't fall for the trap. That's what they want you to do. They have no more power. They are irrelevant. Love wins again. Love never fails. Love wins again, I promise you. All right, so this is Pandora again, um, Young Thug and Kevin Gates. Unfortunately, I lost pretty much all the footage. Um, we live streamed it, but then the live stream got deleted after 24 hours on Periscope. It was just me and Keegan. Ethan stayed home sick, and we managed to... I mean, look at this alleyway. Look at that alleyway. It's totally blocked off. The line, and nobody's getting in through general admission. So we pretty much told the lady that was running the event that we were supposed to be there filming, went back and forth, made a couple phone calls, acted like somebody was our boss, got our VIP wristbands on, and got in. And, and um, yeah, it was pretty dope. <laughs> All the outdoor stages for South by Southwest. Uh, so that changes a lot. Vader Ford's totally shut down. Uh, and sometimes the weather does it, man. Uh, can't sneak in if there's no show. That's what we do on rainy days. How you feel about last night, bro? Fine. Do you want to talk about it? No. This is Mikey. He's not really in the documentary. But he's been at home base the whole week. Alright, well, I could use the card. Look, they got secret service, bro. Look at this woman with the earphones. Look at, film that. Film that, bro. Say hello. They got people dressed up like us. This place has the most security I've ever seen. Police officers, third party security, venue security, workers. Everybody's making sure no one can get in that's not allowed to be in. I wonder if I can get in saying that I'm a YouTuber and showing my stats. I don't know. What I do know is is that even though the chips may seem down right now, we're for sure gonna get in and your guys are gonna come with us. I started talking to this this uh, security guy. He pretty much has no idea what's going on. And I'm like trying to get news of where a YouTube representative is. He basically says in the front, I'm like, oh, whatever, peace. I'm walking out to the street and I spot little Dickie in line. Yeah, kind of crazy. So I walk in, hope, I'm like, little Dickie's a cool guy. He was in my shoes like just five months ago trying to sneak into shit, so maybe he'll help. No, okay, wait a minute. I didn't say I knew. I didn't say I knew. Okay. Yeah. Boy, was I wrong. Sorry. He's, he just said no, I walk out the line, connected. scope out the back, then an idea hints me. So, 20 minutes till future. Literally 20 minutes. This place is so heavily guarded. We're gonna walk through. I'm gonna be on my phone. I'm walking to the line, and I'm like, all right, this technique's gonna work. I'm gonna act like I'm on the phone with somebody important, and give this lady some random names. Hopefully, they'll stick. And. It must. It's gotta be a person's name. I can't check by. You said company name, right? Yeah, but I was checking for there was a Costello. I was looking to see if the company matched that. It doesn't. Look, yeah. can you check Clytus Hassan? No. All right, so I get past that lady. I may look like I'm trying to talk to the lady in front of me, but really I'm on the phone with somebody that's supposed to be important, but it's just my friend Mike at home watching Netflix. I get past her, and the security guy tries to give me fucking trouble right here, and I kind of snap. What's up, buddy? You're in the last one? Yes, we are. So yeah. you check your that he's not Is this a different list or no? Is that a different list? What's your name? Anyway, I see this YouTube employee. I'm walking over to her, and I'm like, all right, YouTube employee. I'll just tell her I do YouTube. You know, this is my fucking life. 
Will you let me into the show? Okay. Are you on the list? Yeah. And uh, she's basically not having it. Tells me to go talk to other people. Yeah, it's the YouTube Google list. Okay, I'm sorry. It's a different list, so ask them. All right, I'm talking to this chick, and she's not really understanding what's going on, so I'm just hopefully throwing anything out there, hoping it sticks. C-A-S, right? 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 Yes. Jeff, it is. Let's get in there. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, sorry. I told you. I told you. I told you. I told you. to jump in the window and I'm like yeah do it we've had a couple drinks in us just just fucking go so he jumps in and yes he gets tackled and and the bodyguard manages to connect a punch on his face I see him and he gives me the slowdown what did he say I got punched in the face like hard hey let's get a drink bro I just got done doing training. Even though we were getting kicked out, future set had just ended. So really, it was all worth it. Had a great time. 10 out of 10, would do it again. Yo, this is Jeff giving a shout out to Keegan Dossie and Joseph Costello for making a documentary. South by Southwest. Location, Austin Music Hall. Guest, Nas, DJ Khaled, and many more. So we're here talking to these girls I know from high school. Pretty cool people. And we're like, yeah, we'll sneak y'all in. So we come up with a method. We actually have a guy inside backstage that we know who snuck in. And he uh, kind of rigged the door open with like a bucket to let us in. So we have to go under these damn stairs. It's really weird. Oh, by the way, right now Keegan's talking to like Joe Budden trying to get in with their crew. But, uh... That doesn't really work out. How? He just walked in there. Oh, so he's gonna let us down? And uh, we open up that door that conveniently had that bucket there, and then immediately we see a security guard to the right, and we jet the fuck up those stairs. Running up, I notice the girls are going pretty slow. I'm like, yo, move it. Let's go, 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 let's go. We get in. Booyah. We did it. All right, I'm in the venue. I'm gonna see if I can sneak in the photo pit now. You coming with me? Anyway, so what we're doing here, sorry. All right, so we snuck backstage. 
don't really know what to do next, but you know, security guys are looking at me behind me, so we're gonna walk past them. Are you ready? So. I think the most important thing. Could give. I think the most important thing. Fresh. Heavily, Manny Fresh. Heavily secured. Um, I think Manny Fresh is about to be right here. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Thanks. Yep. Hey, Papa Zim. Where's your phone? Yeah. Hey, uh, here's my tickets. Tickets and the money. I gotta go. I'm gonna. I gotta get out of here. Cause I gotta go film a movie for South by Southwest. And I forgot that last person's two liter cola, so just go ahead and keep my tips. Well, you don't tell them that before, man. I didn't know until now, I just got the news. I gotta go. That's, that's not good at all. Man. All right, man. Hey, do you want this money? All right, I'll catch you guys later, all right? Uh huh? See you guys again. It's been fun, it's been real. It hasn't been real fun. Later, man. Nigga in here, alright? Y'all move out the fuck out of the way.